Need for Speed Pro Street, one of my favorite racing games of all time. What I think is quite possibly the greatest racing game of all time. Now, do I think that solely because of nostalgia or because it's actually that good? I'm not sure. That's pretty much what we're here to find out. I want to try a new playthrough of this. I want to play through the game that I loved so much. So we're just going to jump straight into this. I want to see if this is all about the nostalgia or if this is actually as good of a game as I remember it being. I love it. I love it to death. And I think I'm still going to love it, even playing it 13 years after its release. But let's get right into the first thing ever. We're introduced to the beautiful Nissan 240SX. We are introduced to Ryan Cooper and a great announcer. You gotta love that. Oh, there's other 240SXs. Battle Machine! Oh, I can run with the best. You really mean it? All right, it's time to go, people. Come on! Oh, look at this. Like this, I feel like just visually, this game holds up so well for being 13 years old from the time of recording, of course. I also don't remember there being a cutscene about you racing. I love the look of this 240. I want to look at the whole game. In comes Ryo Watanabe, our rival. Mm, don't smoke him. Oh, oh poor Corolla. It didn't deserve that. Look at this schmug little bastard. This is. Uh, I love this game. There's no way. <laughs> There's no way this 240 would win that race. It's ridiculous. All right, you guys. The finals will be starting in just a little bit. But first, check it out. You've seen them in the DVDs. You've seen the magazine covers. And seriously, all the racers would kill for his crown. Ooh. This man ain't got nothing on my skills. Granted, his orange tire smoke on that uh, Mitsubishi is glorious. That was a thing I didn't even know was a thing when this game came out. Watanabe, thank you so much for coming out today. Everyone here at Battle Machine is super psyched you could be here. Yeah, you know, I ran a lot of street races too. Until I went something like this. Yeah, it was my ticket to the big time. Still, I had to get back to such small races. Well, it yes, yes, yes. It's me! He's been on fire today. That dude's definitely a battle machine prospect. I don't know about this Cooper. Wow. He never would have cut it back like that. They must have really lowered the standards this year. Get a load of this guy. I'm not going to stick up for Cooper. His driving's got to do all the talking. All right. I'm ready to roll. If I'm correct, this is the race that they just throw me into. And I'm ready! Chicago! Give me some love! I'm ready to win! Look at that cute little 360 controller. Remember when white controllers were the move? I mean, I still own a white Xbox One controller, so I guess it still is the move. Let's get it, boys! Ooh. Alright, so... Now that there's less dialogue going on, I'm going to kind of run through my ideas with this. This is really loud in my ears. I was looking at my audio. Oh, pussy! I was looking at my audio balancing. Get out of my way, Civic! Anyways, um, kind of going to be a test run this episode. What my idea is, probably 10, 15 minute little chunks of the game. The, the game, I'm really good at speaking, you'll come to find that out quickly. Woo, why are you breaking? But I think I'm going to kind of just hyper edit most of the races. Obviously, I'm going to leave this in because I'm monologuing. But my plan is kind of just to cut through the races because, oh shit, I just downshifted. I didn't know I could do that. Whoops. 
I was trying to pull my camera. Nonetheless, I'm getting distracted. As I was saying, I'm trying to kind of, my idea is to hyper edit these videos. Not to where you're missing all the action, but most of the races, you know, they kind of just are races. They're not the most interesting thing ever. So kind of get it into either funny little spots that happen within the race or just whoop, it's like stupid shit like that. That would have been kind of funny. No, where's my handbrake? Is it A? Okay, it's A. I did not need a handbrake. X is to change the camera. That's gross. I love this game so much. That's basically the end of it. You're just going to hear me just ogling over this the entire time. But, yes, with the YouTube thing, I really want to get back into it. I want to make a bunch of YouTube videos. I want to enjoy making YouTube videos. And I thought the only way that I could do that extremely successfully, other than if I'm playing games with my friends, where that's always fun, is just to play the games that I like the most. The games I like the most are racing games. And so I thought just put two and two together with that one. So... Here we are going all the way into the end of this first race. Smoke at the competition, nine seconds or more. Let's see what old Rio Watanabe's got to say about that one, because I just want my ticket to Battle Machine! Yes! Vancouver takes the win! Put your hands together! Rio, man, come on, that was so sick! Oh, man, you know, yeah, yeah, okay, the guy won, but... He did not look pretty behind hey. the wheel. It, it, it physically pained me to watch that guy. I'll drop. punch you right in the pussy, brother. I don't know how he made it. <laughs> yeah, um, uh, well, thanks for helping us out, Rio. It's been real. Real Watanabe? Oh, folks, <laughs> Cooper has crushed today. The dude just totally dominated. Oh, yeah. Hey, getting a little too close to the car. I'm saying. Give me a kiss. Come on, let me just lean in that window real fast. <laughs> I wanted that kiss. Maybe next time. Hey, uh, well, now that was super dramatic. Come on, dude. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Cooper, you're going to Battle Machine, homie. You yes, made. yes, yes. I'm going to Battle Machine. The good thing about replaying this, too, is I don't remember most of the filler of this game. I remember that first mission, and I remember the Showdown Kings. Or, is that what they're called? Basically. If you don't know how this whole game works, is there's four different race categories. Through those four categories are, like, the racing kings. Let me go over to the map. I can't, of course. Why wouldn't I? Basically, at the end of this map, there's the grip king, which is, like, classic circuit and sprint races. There's the drift king, my favorite character in all games, just because this RX-7 looks so cool. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. There's the Drag King, which is drag races. And then there's the Speed King, which is nothing but like high intensity, 200 mile an hour races on Nevada highways and stuff. And it's so cool. I can't, uh, <laughs> I just ogle over this game constantly. And that's all that's going to happen throughout the entire time I'm playing this. But nonetheless, we're at Battle Machine. So I'm thinking we're going to run through Battle Machine. And then once that's over, that'll probably be the end of this video. And then we'll start getting into those little out branches above and below Battle Machine, which will get us to Showdown Chicago. So let's bring this 240SX out to the track again, and let's, uh, sauce. I love the announcer in this game just because he's, like, it makes it feel like a real, like, track day event. It just, I don't know, it just, it's everything about this game. Once again, it's so good. The thing that I like about these pre-registered events where you just get cars that are all even playing, everyone's using the same cars, is that it's basically like getting your starter car, but you still have that 240. I almost called it the 180. So how this works is basically, normally where that little crown is up there, where it says 19,200, you have to fill that all the way up to be able to get your domination. But there's a little bar halfway through in regular events that are just winning the event, where if you don't like the event, or if you're getting smoked, you can just win the event and not dominate it. You can leave and get like half the points, which works great. All right, Ryan Cooper in the Golf GTI with all the other Golf GTIs. It's very interesting trying to commentate over racing games to a point because there's like funny, silly stuff that happens, but otherwise it's just I get so focused, especially in drift events. I don't know if I'm going to be able to talk much once drifting happens. It's just, I don't know, I'd like, 
tune into like another reality when I'm doing drift stuff. I keep clicking X thinking that's my handbrake, and it is not. This game plays a little loosey-goosey compared to what I remember, but I'll get used to it. So I've been playing all the new Need for Speeds, like Need for Speed Heat, Need for Speed Payback, the Need for Speed 2015 Remake, which is what made me want to get back into this game, because I remember this game was like the love of my life. So the handling in this game, I'm coming to realize I'm definitely going to have to get used to, because the newer games definitely have more fine-tune, you kind of have to... I always like flick the stick back and forth a couple times and tap it to turn, where with this game you can kind of just hold it and it'll do the turn perfectly, which is a lot easier. So that's nice. And we are about to cross the line to win our first event at Battle Machine. Yeah, yeet! Oh, I was trying to hit the eat break, didn't work. Here's some music that'll probably get me copyright claimed, so I don't know if I can keep this in. Which sucks, because the music in this game kind of bops. Some of it's really bad. Alright, so next up we have got a quarter mile drag. Hmm, do I want to use a Chevy Cobalt or a Civic? Neither of these really scream a fast quarter mile to me. You know what? Let's keep it hatchy. Let's use the Civic. Wait, is this even a hatch Civic? I would assume it is. Alright, this, I love how the drag racing works in this game. Other than the multi-heat thing, I've never loved that. But you have to, like, warm your tires up to this green zone. And, like, tap the trigger to get this perfect grip. Which, I'm not sure how much this actually affects... Oh, shit. How do I shift? Wait, no matter. I know. I did it on accident earlier. No, I just e brake I didn't mean to. Oh, man, I'm doing so bad. Okay, thankfully this guy doesn't know his ass from his elbow, apparently. That was all sorts of ugly. Dear God. So another thing that makes this three round thing interesting is that you're not just going against the guy that you are just going against. You're going against all eight people at the same time. So even though you might smoke the person you're on the track with, Mr. Alex Hutton here might have been going against someone else and did like a 10 second quarter mile where I just did a 13. So that leaves an interesting dynamic where you don't really know how good you're doing until it's over. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Let's go racing, baby! Yay! Yeah. Hit the turb ski! Woo! Oh, that was so much cleaner. That was way cleaner. Wow, really not that faster of a time, though. Only half a second? Even with all my mistakes in that first run, that's kind of surprising. Is there anybody even in the cars? It doesn't look like it, and if there is, there are just, like, silhouettes. Give me that grip, baby! Come on! Hello? Why am I Discord just screaming? Did he just break off the line? What just happened? He's not moving. <laughs> Sir? Ah, messed up the shift a little bit at the end again. B13. Ah, close. I'll take that. Did he fuck up? No, he was just slow as all hell. Well, that is a nice, easy, breezy, beautiful dubberoni for me. Now, I'm wondering if this game is actually going to get difficult like it used to for me, or if it's going to be really easy because I've now played racing games for 13 more years. As much as I love quarter mile drag in these cars, it's a bit slow. So I think I'm going to do the time attack for the last race because you can see my bar's almost full. So let's whip it in the golf. And let's get to saucin', shall we, boys? Once again, quick debriefing if for some reason you don't really know much about racing and you're just interested by watching my video. Time attack. Being in front of everybody else doesn't matter, but I want to be in front of everybody else anyways because I'm competitive. Nonetheless, the only thing I'm trying to do in this race is just get the best time on one lap as compared to everyone else. Hence, time attack. I really don't think that needs to be explained, but every time there's a new event, I'll just kind of run through it anyways. Because, why not? Oh my gosh, brother! Why are you hitting the brake that hard? Also, is there no brake lights in this game? If so, I literally just noticed that. Yeah, there's not. Who needs brake lights? This is 2007. Race cars don't need headlights, because the track is always lit. Oh my gosh, I'm driving like I've never driven before. Christ. Ooh, zooey mama. <laughs> I'm losing control! Alright, Alex. Enough kicking dirt up in my windshield. I'm gonna kick your... Oh, wait! No, there is brake lights. They're just really faint. 
Oh, you gotta just hold them bitches for a couple seconds from turn on. Okay. Weird. But, uh, once again, old game. I can't really shit on it too much for stuff like that. Oh no! Get out of the dirt! Stop! Come on, give me a good turn. Yes! Yeah! Oh no, and I let go. Why'd I do that? Oh, I almost hit them barrels. I have boost! I'm not using my boost! I'm winning this boost list! That's how we do it in these parts. <laughs> boost Turbo NOS. I'm the best. Once again, I don't know if I can keep that uh, music in. I even turned it down, and it didn't turn it down for the after race win. Dominated the event. 5,000 smackers. Mm, mystery. 10,000 smackers? You really mean it? Oh, what? I can't keep the golf? That's what I wanted. Oh, I'm taking the Civic. All right, but I think we're going to actually end this section here. When we come back, we're going to be doing some of these little side sections. You see we got just more grippity draggities. So that's what we'll do in episode two. But hopefully you enjoyed. Be sure to smash that like button. Is that what YouTubers say? That's what I'm going to say. Give me some feedback if you think that there's something I could do better. There's going to be probably more edits in the next one because there was a lot of story for this first video. So the next one will probably be a little bit different. But either way, give me some feedback. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you don't. And until next time. Oh. What's my outro? We'll figure that out later. Bye-bye now.